So this year, my goal is to take the harp into as many different genres as I possibly can, starting with the one that I know the least about and the one that scares me the most. Let's say it's a nice rainy day, you're chilling, you're relaxing. What are you listening to? Are you listening to something like this? Or are you listening to something like this? If you're listening to something like this, then you're probably gonna like harsh noise music. My first experience into the world of harsh noise music was this album right here. Oh. And uh, I found this album by Googling the worst albums of all time. <laughs> and side note, I actually found um, an album by my doppelganger, Corey Feldman, Mr. Comeback King himself, also featured on that same list. So that was cool. When I posted that video, I actually realized that a lot of people do listen to Harsh Noise recreationally. So I wanted to dig a little deeper into the genre, understand it more, and try to make some harsh noise on my harp. So I began my research where everybody starts, and I discovered that a man with three legs and a foot growing out of his knee invented harsh noise music. I really don't know if I can trust that. So then I went to the second most reliable place on the internet to get information from, and I found a harsh noise artist, and I asked them some questions. Their name is Void Puppet, and she makes music like this. Harsh noise. So yeah, basically, what is harsh noise? <laughs> so I feel like it's a type of performance art almost. To me, it's like ambient music, but like way more extreme version of that. <laughs> What's the weirdest way <laughs> to make the weirdest sounds possible? <laughs> and then wanting to show people that. I love <laughs> That's that. That's a funny way of doing it, at least. There's a lot of subgenres of noise music. Some of them include harsh noise core, aka shit core. <laughs> ambient noise wall, blackened noise, and slugma. And none of these will ever be in your lo-fi chill playlist. I feel like there needs to be like a sister channel to lo-fi girl called Harsh Noise Girl. So now you might be asking yourself, why? How and why did you get into harsh noise music? Like the beginning of lockdown, I felt like I just needed some sort of outlet to express myself. I actually started it with just like a broken radio that I was like messing around with and recording. And then it just kind of became an obsession and started expanding from there. Hypothetically, could I try to create my own harsh noise music, I wonder? Like, I, I, you have enough pedals, I feel like you could. So in order for my harp to fit into the harsh noise genre, we got to run it through some effects. And out of my entire pedal collection, I think these three will give us the sounds we're looking for. This one adds some white noise. This one adds some distortion with white noise. But I think this one is going to be our best candidate, the Roger That by Fairfield Circuitry. And before we try this on harp, I want to know what it sounds like on guitar. So you guys have like... What? If you just take out the dry signal completely, keep the tune knob low, the drive just becomes a very ratty, awesome, like filth drive. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. I love good. that. That's so cool. It's like not trying to be the beautiful kind of distortion, but it's cool for that reason. But it sort of nails that like sludgy, like this cool. terrifying sound. Yeah, How's that gonna sound with the harp? We, we gotta find out. If you wanna see how to use this pedal at an advanced level, you should go to my channel. <laughs> I like the idea that I'm like the adult content. I'm just, the, I'm the daycare. You're like the, the you're like the kids book section of the library. <laughs> where it's like you go and there's this nice lady like teaching everybody how to do a jigsaw oh. puzzle. <laughs> Right? I mean, I'm saying this with love. I know, yeah, okay. of course. Right. 
before we get too crazy with all this, I'm going to make it sound as tame as possible on the harp. So the drums are going to sound like this. And I'll be using Roger that as a distortion on my harp, which sounds like this. And then on the lead line, <laughs> what the fuck is a fly doing in here? I'll be using the Dreadbox raindrops. And all that sounds like this. So I found that the best way to make noise with this thing is to have this tune knob constantly moving. So obviously I can't turn this knob while I'm playing harp, so I'm gonna have my modular setup do it for me. So I'll be using an LFO from the Div Kid Oct. Yep. And then I'm gonna be plugging this into Roger That so that the tune knob is gonna turn automatically. When I play my harp through it, it sounds like this. So now I wanna know like, how does a harsh noise artist create their identity? If you showed me a piece by one harsh noise artist, it's difficult for me to distinguish it automatically from another. Do you think it's hard for harsh noise artists to kind of create like a signature sound. A lot of it has to do with live performance as well and, and how people like to to like perform um, because sometimes it's more about the performance art aspect of it than the actual sound itself. I went to a show a little while ago and, and a friend of mine was playing and like mixing something in a bowl um, <laughs> with a contact mic and I was like, what were you playing? And he was like, oh, a bowl of oats. And I was like, what? <laughs> so you're playing oatmeal? Like that is... Amazing. I don't know. It's hard to, dis to decide for me what sounds good and what sounds bad. I guess there's not really any bad um, with harsh noise. It's just, you know, what, what makes my brain feel good and what doesn't. Some harsh noise bands have more extreme performances than others. Like there's this one band that took a bulldozer and smashed it into the side of the venue. But then the venue doesn't want to book them anymore and neither does any other venue ever. So knowing all that I know now, I think I'm ready to start my own harsh noise band. So, do you want to start a harsh noise band with me? Let's do it. <laughs> yes. So my band is going to be made up of me on harp, Void Puppet, this trash can named Barry, this streetlight named Chris, and my pug Kevin. So here's the track we made. So if you like that track, you can download it from Void Puppets Bandcamp. Um, thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for joining me on my harsh noise journey today. Thank you so much to Fairfield Circuitry for sending me the Roger That. And uh, thanks for... Subscribing. Subscribing. Thanks for subscribing. Subscribing.